Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name's Miranda, and we are in the middle of a 75 soft challenge. We're currently at the end of week one, so we're going to go over all of the exciting highlights of this week. And stick around to the end, because I've got a surprise for you. Spoiler alert, it's weight loss. But even I didn't see this coming. So, shall we get into it? For those of you that don't know what a 75 soft challenge is, I've included the details of the challenge in the description below. I'm just going to go over right now what I am doing, which are the basic rules. So the basic rules of the challenge are eat any diet and only drink on special occasions, exercise for 45 minutes a day, drink three liters of water, and read 10 pages from any book. Those are the basics of the challenge and that's all that I am currently doing. For other details of the challenge, read through the description because you can add personal tasks as well. So now that we're all caught up on the rules, let's go through the highlights of my first week on the challenge. So for the first week of the challenge, I have been highlighting some of the things that I have been doing to complete the rules through my shorts. So if you haven't viewed them already, after the video is done, go over to my shorts and take a look at some of the highlights that I've included there. I've been keeping track of some of the highlights I've done throughout the days, uh, not including all of the rules because there's only so many times you can show drinking water, but I have included some of the more interesting highlights throughout the days such as my walking workstation. I've included some cool little things with walking my dogs and even things like going to my martial arts class that may have interest you. So if you are interested in seeing those, head over to my shorts and take a look at those. I do a short for every single day so that the highlights of the days are shown there. But I'm also going to highlight some of the things here as well. So let's go over some of those as well. If you watched my day zero video, you'll know that the rule I thought I would have the most difficulty with was going to be water intake. So staying hydrated with the three liters of water. And I was right. The water intake has been the most difficult. Um, day two, I was at my martial arts class. So I was pretty thirsty throughout that entire day. Um, martial arts program and therefore I did have a lot of water later in the evening on top of the increased water intake during the day and let's just say the nighttime was not working for me that night and my body was not used to all of that water yet <laughs> definitely not on day two it's been getting better as the week has gone by but it's still I'm trying to regulate it as early in the day as possible but having all of that water in my stomach definitely has felt like my stomach has been uncomfortably full on more than one occasion as I try to get a lot of water in um, at more times or quicker than it probably should be. I do work full time and sometimes it's just not convenient to get a lot of or, like little sips of water in over a longer period of time. And then I notice I'm behind my goal of getting a certain amount steadily and I try to just rush it and drink a lot of water really quickly all at once and I get that uncomfortable bloat feeling and it definitely isn't something that I'm enjoying right now and I've got to get better at regulating that water intake because I want to be done earlier in the day so that I don't have problems with having to get up in the middle of the night. I like to be able to sleep all the way through. I don't like an interrupted sleep and therefore I need to be able to stop my water intake earlier in the night and not have to worry about that. And that's definitely something that is still, I'm trying to adjust with how much water this challenge definitely takes. So it's getting there, but it definitely isn't perfect just yet. As far as my diet goes, I have not been counting calories. I've not been doing a, ca a calorie deficit. I've just been what would be intuitively eating right now on a specific diet. And I was actually quite surprised at how, I guess it's been going as far as like hunger signals and maybe that's the increase in water. I haven't been overly hungry. Definitely there are times where I'm like, I am starving, let's get some food in me. 
But then I've realized that I have unconsciously been intermittent fasting where I haven't actually intended to. And when I've realized, oh yeah, it's been like six hours since I ate breakfast, uh, maybe I should probably eat something because I haven't eaten lunch and, and now it's time for afternoon snack time uh, for my break. Maybe I should eat something at this point in time. It's something that uh, I haven't noticed that there's like meal skipping happening. So I don't like intermittent fasting. If I was to skip a meal, it would definitely be breakfast. I'm not a big breakfast eater in the first place. So I would choose to not eat breakfast if that was a thing and eat later on in the day. Just eating the appropriate foods that I have chosen to eat on my chosen diet. I am not going to say what that is because I don't want anyone to be encouraged to follow it. You follow whatever you want to eat if you choose to follow this particular challenge, whether it's vegan, vegetarian, carnivore, keto, Mediterranean, whatever. You do whatever is appropriate for your lifestyle, your tastes, anything like that. I'm not going to say what I'm doing just because I don't want anyone to feel encouraged to follow. My workouts have been pretty much as I thought they would be. I've scheduled in 45 minutes of workout. My martial arts one was 45, more than 45 minutes, but it was at a scheduled time. Uh, I've haven't really missed any though there was one that I almost missed and I actually have it on one of my shorts where I am on a stationary bike and it's night and I have one light on that's almost overhead and it looks like I'm in a spotlight because of how dark it is all around it's actually pretty funny but I normally I'm not uh, missing any of my workouts I am getting them in pretty regularly uh, my dogs, I have been walking them in the morning and I sometimes walk them again at night if I choose to get in a walk for my second, like my 45 minute workout. And sometimes I choose to rope one of my kids in as well. Usually it's my daughter. I think there's one of the shorts where you can actually see her feet in with my dog while I'm walking my dogs. She didn't want to take the leads for uh, either of them. I've got both the dogs and she's walking ahead and, uh, that uh, she's decided to walk with me as well. It gets her out and about as well. So I'm trying to make it a little more of a family affair as well with, with my children getting a little more active in the evening uh, with me. But the 45 minutes hasn't been as hard as I thought it might be with the fact that I was out of the habit. And that's actually pretty encouraging. So I'm pretty glad that it's not more difficult than I thought it would be. What I am unhappy with is that my weight lifting hasn't been as easy to integrate back in and I really want to get back into that so I'm a little unhappy that you know, sure cardio is fitting in pretty easy but my weightlifting is not and I'm hoping that the coming into this second week um, it's going to be a little easier to fit my um, weightlifting back in so we'll keep you posted on how easy it is that that got fit back in or not or if yet again I didn't get that in <laughs> As far as the results were for this week, I was hoping to lose two pounds for the week. I've set it up so that the weight loss is a steady two pounds per week over this 75 day challenge. And I ended up losing four pounds, which was twice what I was hoping to lose, which was fantastic, exactly four pounds. So right on the money, 4.0. So I was pretty happy that it was twice what I had um, allotted to lose for the week considering I had not even looked at a calorie deficit. Like I was not counting my calories. I was not tracking a deficit. I was not doing anything of the sort. I wasn't counting my uh, exercise calories to see where I was sitting in a deficit, like none of it. I was doing none of that this week. I, my goal for this week was literally to just get back in the habit of, you know, eating healthier, getting in water, getting on my exercise every day for cardio, like literally the bare minimum and just forcing myself to make those changes. So there was no counting of anything. And I was actually really happy that I lost four pounds without counting a single calorie this week. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with where we're standing right now. Again, I'm said two pounds for next week, but if I lose more, great. Um, 
this next week, I am going to actually track my calories, weigh my food and all of that. If that's not for you, if that's triggering in any way, by all means, if you're following along, do not do that. Do what's right for you and what would fit well with your lifestyle. This is just, I'm a metrics person and that's how I go and do things. So I will be doing that. I will be tracking. I will be measuring, but if that's something that is triggering for you, by all means, don't do that. I do not want anybody to feel that they have to do it. Again, I usually don't mention those things just because I don't want anybody to feel they have to so that they are in the nice mental headspace and can be feeling the way that they need to feel nice and good and happy about things. You don't have to do anything that makes you uncomfortable. So if those things make you uncomfortable, skip them. Don't do them. It's just what I do because I'm the numbers girl. <laughs> So I will be doing that going forward and we will see where we're sitting next week. So until next time, stay amazing.